Welcome back. Well, all week long here on Living 808, we're going to be talking about the newest luxury high-rise called Aaliyah on 888 on Moana Boulevard. Developed by the Kobayashi Group, we wanted to know a lot more about it, from the inspiration to the amenities and every fine detail in between. All week long here on Living 808, we're going to be learning about a new residential development uh, called the Aaliyah, and it's being done by the Kobayashi Group, so no better person to talk to than Alana Kobayashi Pakala. Thank you so much for uh, joining us and telling us a little bit more about this project. This Thank is awesome. you. Thanks for having me. Before we get to Aaliyah, let's talk a little bit about the Kobayashi Group and its history. Could you tell us? Yeah, of course. Um, so Kobayashi Group, we're a family-owned company. We actually, our family originally started in construction, and that construction company, AC Kobayashi, named after our grandfather, Albert, is still in existence. Um, and um, our father, Bert Kobayashi, grew that business, and he sold it as an ESOP, or an employee-owned company, and um, that's when he transitioned 100% to real estate development and formed Kobayashi Group with my old, two older brothers, BJ Kobayashi and Patrick Kobayashi. You guys are doing an amazing work. Uh, let's talk about Aaliyah. It's a luxury high-rise. Could you tell me about the how that came about? Aaliyah is um, located in Kamehameha School's master plan in Kaka'ako. Aaliyah means salt. Um, which we felt was a very appropriate name with the history of the salt beds in the area. Um, also the way that salt brings people together and the, and the cultural history of salt. And we're incredibly excited about bringing this community to life. Have past projects influenced Aaliyah? Can you tell me about that? Yes, always. Aaliyah is the culmination of, of decades of work or 20 years of high-rise work in terms of um, everything that we're doing at Aaliyah really um, comes from either a past experience that we want to improve upon or, or truly just an opportunity for the first time that we ever could achieve some of these, for example, amenities. Um, Aaliyah's property and layout just allowed us to have the space to do things that we've always wanted to do but just haven't been able to do in the, in the past. I'd love for you to tell our viewers about the Kobayashi Group's commitment to community, particularly in local business. Could you Tell us a little bit about that. Um, our father really has always instilled in us that it's really important to support local um, number one first. So while there sometimes are disciplines or, or, or elements where you, where, you, where you really would benefit from, from outsiders, but at the same time, what we always do is pair it with a local team. So we really believe strongly that we all are, are more successful if we try to keep a circular economy and really keep the talent here, here working. And so we're really proud of the way that we build our teams in that way. Um, let's talk real quick about sustainability and, and the practices that you guys have put into place, uh, especially with Aaliyah. Yeah, no, thank you um, for that question because it's probably the thing I'm, I'm most excited about and that's something that is so important to us is we set a goal for Aaliyah to, to be the most sustainably developed high-rise in the history of our state. And an area that we thought was um, in particularly interesting, um, in, especially in light of some recent events, um, is, is, to, is to innovate around water and really to um, st to see if we could have a lighter um, impact on potable water. And so we, we've we worked with um, the state and the city to for Aaliyah to be the very first residential project to, to actually process our gray water and reuse it on site. And um, it's really exciting. So gray water is actually the water that um, comes from your um, showers, your laundry, and your bathroom sinks. So it's water that is not very dirty, but you can actually process process it on site to the city's highest regulation of R1, um, or recycled water, and we're using it to send that water back up into our cooling tower. And that will be the water used to chill down the whole building from the air conditioning standpoint. Wow. So a lot of thought has been put into this building, uh, including the amenities. Could you talk about that real quick. For Aaliyah, I think I mentioned that earlier, you know, it's a really large site and the way that it's oriented actually, um, a, you know, gives so much space for amenities. And we really thought carefully about how we can bring the most amount of options to our owners. In one of our first developments, um, one of the greatest amenities that most members would say is the Great Lawn. It's just big open grass area, but it's such a special thing to have. And so we implemented that in Project Sense here in an urban environment, and we've just gotten the best feedback about people's experience of being able to have a large open space to throw a football or run around with their dog or have a wedding, right? And so for a 
idea we were able to bring forward because of the size and the shape of the property, um, a, a great lawn that was double anything we've ever done in the past. And so we're incredibly excited about that opportunity as well. Well, I really appreciate you uh, sitting down with us, talking a little bit more about this project and the history of the Kobayashi Group. We will be talking all throughout the week, get a little more in detail about Aliyah, but uh, this has been a great start. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Getting a chance to talk to the entire group this entire week throughout, and we're talking like fine details. We're going to be talking mm -hmm. uh, a lot of, I think it's so interesting how they're using the water, and there's just so many uh, little details that they've thought of that make this building amazing. Yeah, and I mean, you can see in the pictures, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh -huh. So I'm excited to learn a, bit, a little bit more about it. We're gonna yeah. be talking even to some of the designers as well. Um, Very easily could be in our tech check. It really could, <laughs> and, but Kakako, that's the, yeah. the up and coming place. I mean, it's yeah. been the, a hub of new restaurants and so much more. So. I want to move in. I know, right? <laughs> I have like, a feeling a lot of you guys are going to want to after this yeah. week as well. <laughs> and throughout the week, we'll be talking uh, 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 some of the amenities, mm -hmm. um, uh, including the Great Lawn, which is oh, also yeah. something that uh, is a, a big draw for folks. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. All right.